all right guys and girls we are back today and have you all ever heard of a catapa tree well if not i'm going to explain to you all what a catapa tree is and what a catapa tree produces so a catapa tree is generally a southern tree it ranges from alabama arkansas mississippi all the way up to indiana and what a catapa tree produces is free bait that's right no lie free bait and it is probably the single most effective bait you can get so if you have a catapa tree in your yard or know of somebody that has a catapa tree sneak over ask whatever you got to do get some of these worms because i'm going to show you how good these worms actually are and i'm going to give you a sneak peek of a catapa worm i like to call them catapi that's what i've always been told they were called but the actual name is catapa or catawba but without further ado i'm going to get one of these worms and i'm going to show you the catawba worm is black on top has a horn but the horn don't hurt actually let me rephrase that that way i don't scare some of y'all away the horn has no purpose it doesn't do a thing it doesn't sting you it doesn't jab into you anything like that so these worms they actually emit a green juice and i've clearly never tasted the juice but i would assume it's probably pretty sweet to the fish so like i said the worm is black on top has that little horn that you can see right there green on the sides white strap i'm gonna call it a racing strap so the horn is actually on the tail end of it. So without further ado, I'm gonna get you all in the water and we're gonna catch some fish. All right, so I'm not really the most efficient bobber fisherman, but I am gonna show you how good these first cast yeah gonna need the net Uh, that's pretty big. Take it to this side. I kind of can't. Oh. Come on. Uh, first cast that is how efficient these are A little kayak catfishing 
Yeah. All right, it's under you now. Yep. Hang on. All right, all right. Guys, I want you all to look how efficient first cast of that thing. First freaking cast. I, I can't explain how good these worms are. Guys, if you all can find some, get some. Oh, after some technical difficulties, we will now. Well, he wasn't having it. He was ready to go. He was ready to get out of here. Guys, those worms are crazy. Man, that thing took me on a wild ride, didn't it? These are known as catfish candy, so hopefully we get some more. Did you get your big catfish too? Holy cow. Don't put your pole down. <laughs> get it to come back here. Raise your pole up. Cat number two. Guys, we have no method to this madness. We just uh, go just go for it, like Peyton said, and hope for the best. First I thought it was a bluegill because it was barely pulling, but then I realized it was a catfish after I hooked it. Pull it off the horn, there you go. Oh! <laughs> Ow. 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 Yeah. Heck yeah. These worms are effective, guys. Look at that. Yeah, let it go. We slung that bad boy back out there, and hopefully we'll get us another one. Guys, it don't matter what time of day it is. If you use these worms, look. Ah, I missed one. If you use these worms, you're going to catch them. You are flat out going to catch the fish. The great thing about these katapi worms is that, like I said in the intro, they emit that juice that green juice and for anybody that's ever picked one or not really picked one but just gotten them off the trees you know the juice i'm talking about that green slimy juiciness and i don't know if it's just if it's sweet to the fish or if they can just really like pick it up and smell it with their fish nostrils or or, or what, but man, do they love it. Like, I'm not a cat fisherman, but I mean, whenever I can pull something off of the tree in my backyard and come out and catch fish, I mean, it's pretty neat. I mean, I, I mean, I'll enjoy it. No, a little bluegill. Come here, buddy. And that's another good thing is they stick, stay on the hook good. Yeah, I'm getting ready to talk about that. So that's a good point you made of why they stay on the hook so good. Need one. Look at that beauty. Catch. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, now let me go back to what Peyton was saying. Peyton was saying that they stay on the hook real good. And that's true because... They have really thick skin. 
and once it gets past that barb it's it's hard for it to come off unless you just got like a a fish that's houdini like this one back here oh you hear that drag there you are there you are that a boy I got blood all over my phone from his bluegill. What the? There was another bobber that came out of this thing. It came out of it? Yeah, right there. Holy crap. It's a little feller. Yeah. What do you think about them katapi worms? They're good. <laughs> They're good? If we was planning them for a fish fry, then that would have been a heck of a night, wouldn't it? Heck yeah. Well, good thing old dad's here. Dad'll get it. That last bluegill I caught, I didn't even feel. I mean, it didn't, it didn't even take the bobber or nothing. I just started reeling it in, and there it was. He said, peekaboo, buddy. Peekaboo. Come on, Mr. Catfish. Crappie. Bluegill. Bass, even. Hey, Peyton. I'll give you $1,000 right now. Well, after we get done fishing, and tomorrow morning, I mean, as in right now, tomorrow morning, I will go to the bank, get the thousand dollars, if you eat one of these worms. What about it? Huh? Why not? I would eat one for a thousand dollars. I would eat that thing like it was a 32 ounce porterhouse and gargle it down like it was a nice cold beverage. It's mind over matter. Yeah, I'm probably gonna need a net. Come on, buddy. Come on, come up, catfish. Oh my. Go, go, buddy, come here. Buddy, buddy, <laughs> I can't even lift him. Where'd you even catch it at by that stick? A bear. Oh. It pulled me all the way down here. I can't even. Oh. I can barely lift it with two hands. I know it's a tank, ain't it? Look at that bad boy, guys. Ow! You son of a gun. See, it hurts. Son of a gun bit the crap out of me. This is why. Katapi worms are so freaking good during the summer. This guy is a tank, and he bit the crap out of me, and I'm bleeding like a mofo. Guys, a hoss. It's insane how good the Katapi worms are.
just absolutely insane, guys. Another one! Oh my gosh! I think this one's bigger. He don't have much fight in him though. No. Come here, here kitty cat. Barely, he, he's barely hooked, so hurry up and get him. Uh, come here. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. <laughs> All right. Catch the kitty cat. There we go, guys. Not as big as the last one, but. Pretty good cat. <laughs> All right, everybody. We had a fantastic day. Four catfish. Like Peyton said, four catfish and bluegill on the Catawpa worms. Catawpa, Catawpi, Catawba. However you want to say it, just say it. Look it up on Google, whatever you need to do. I'm sure somebody's going to say I'm not saying it right. Honestly, I really don't care. But I say Katapi. Like I said at the beginning of the video. Guys, we caught some pretty good cats. Threw them all back in. If we was trying to do a fish fry today would have been the day it was like 90 freaking degrees those worms are no joke so again if you can find those worms if somebody has like a catapa tree in their yard go ask them ask them for some worms they're not going to disappoint you they are legit best live bait around for cats guys with that we're out of here. We will see you on the next video.